All right. So picture this. You've just mother. All right. So picture this. You've just changed out the startup map. Previously, you've built with an old startup map, aka you haven't had a startup screen or something like that. You, or at least you didn't have a dedicated scene for that specific uh, content. But you know, you've built before, so you expect it to work completely the same as when you build it this time. And then when you launch your build, your exe file to play your game, it suddenly doesn't have the new startup screen which you created. And you scratch your head and you're thinking, Well, I did change it in the editor. And I've changed it everywhere else, so why does that not work? Or you might be actually running on a uh, SVN server, in which case we were. Uh, some changes were propagated to the engine, and it did change, you know, whatever startup map we had in engine. But whenever we built, that never changed. So, and the reason why this happens, and I can go into that first, because it's very, very quick. And that is the simple fact that it's cooked content. Usually there's a tick box which you can do, which says if the content is going to be cooked. And usually you want to do that because it's going to speed up the next uh, builds that you're going to have. So it's a very good thing, in fact, to do. However, if you do change these files, you might have to navigate your way through your project file uh, and then into, you know, the this is where you probably have your uh, XE to run your engine project then you click to the saved folder in which case you also go into config and then windows or whatever platform you've built for and it doesn't work for now what you want to do then is you want to launch out the um the engine here in either notepad or notepad plus plus i do notepad plus plus because it gives me a little bit of uh, syntax highlighting and i prefer it that way and as you can see here, well, no wonder why we don't have a startup map uh, when we build the game. Because we go right into the tutorial level that I have here. So, and, and this is enough to actually cause out the issue. So if you want to change this to whatever layout or whatever startup level that you in fact have in your project. With the menu, start menu or whatever you want to do. Then this is where you would change it right here. So what you have to do is you have to put your, you know, uh, start, startup, uh, or start level, maybe. Uh, it is also case sensitive, I believe. So be very careful about that. Ensure that you type in the correct name. And then it's uh, essentially, it's the name dot the name. You do that, you save the file, and then you launch the engine. And nothing's really going to change in the engine. But what you're going to see is when you do build the project, this is going to now work it's going to build it with the start level as the very first level as the game default startup map now i'm also going to say that you probably can delete this folder as a whole uh, probably even the entire config file to ensure that nothing has been you know nothing nothing is technically wrong or it, it regenerates all of the config files that would also probably work though i haven't done it myself yet so because this was all i had to do but the reason why I think that just deleting it is also fine is because this is in the saved folder, aka probably and most likely these files are going to be regenerated once you do another build. But again, this video is mainly just about that issue, uh, though if you do have any other cooking issue, it might be related to the saved folder, just so you know. And also more specifically, uh, just so you don't uh, don't delete the entire set folder because if you have like screenshots in here because I think it does like saved and then saved screenshots then yeah those are obviously going to go lost as well so you know I, I would ensure that you know you're only ever editing the cooked folder and the config folder really I think that's the main two deals here hopefully that helps you uh, like and subscribe if I helped you out and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.